everybody, this is Kitsune Haruri and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing an idea I got from Best Damn EDC by Taylor Martin. Check out his channel, it's very interesting. I'm going to be doing the Artists EDC. Now for those of you who don't know what an EDC is, that's your everyday carry. Items that you should have on your person that you are more than likely going to need sometime through your day at any given time. Some of these things might be used all day long. Some of them might only be used occasionally, but you do need them. Now, if you want some ideas of a standard EDC, uh, Taylor Martin's channel will show you all about that. And he has some very good ideas, including an EDC kit that will fit entirely in an Altoid tin. That big. Really interesting stuff and he also tells you some good places to get things that will fit into that that you can make good use of. Now in my case I carry what an artist needs and those things I carry are in my purse. Um, you might be able to find the items that you need as an artist that will fit into an Altoids tin, I personally don't have that. <laughs> I actually uh, carry around a lot more because I'm a little over prepared. But then again, I also use an Eta bag for my regular daily purse. So a little bit more space and a lot more business going on here. So the first thing that as an artist of any kind, and I do mean any kind, it doesn't matter if you are a fiber artist, a digital artist, a painter, drawer, sculptor, whatever, you are going to want to keep a sketchbook. Now in my case, because I have that kind of space, I am carrying a leather bound sketchbook. It has a cord to keep it shut. This has a couple of uses for me, not just as a sketchbook, but also as a good place to store things, you know, bits of paper, whatever else, car business cards, things I've scribbled down somewhere and I need to keep it, it all goes into here, at least until I can get them home. Now the sketchbook I'm using, I just opened it upside down, <laughs> by the way all my sketchbooks get marked up with stickers, that's what I do. But this particular sketchbook not only has a drawing side, but it has a lined writing side opposite. I do story writing and poetry as well, so this is great. Now the reason I say that every artist should carry a sketchbook is because you're going to have ideas while you're somewhere away from what you work on. If you do resin casting, it's not going to be in your hip pocket when you're out and about and an idea strikes you. If you do sewing, same deal. Your fabric is at home. Your machine, you might have a needle and thread, by the way. That's a good EDC item for anybody to have. A needle, a thread, and some spare buttons. Do it. It only takes up this much space. You can get a tiny, tiny little kit anywhere. And you know, Walmart has them, Joann's has them, everybody has them. Get yourself a tiny sewing kit, keep it on you. Um, I'm being a hypocrite right now because I have not put mine back in yet. What can I say? But it's still a good idea. So, if you're going to have, first of all, your sketchbook, you're also going to need something to write in it with. Now, a majority of my artist items are in this little pouch. I can take it out. I can carry it by itself should I want to do that. But most of what I need is in here. If I'm doing just strictly art, this is what I'm going to grab. Things you will want to have. A pencil of any kind. It could be just the regular 2B pencil that you would carry in school. Um, I prefer to use H and HB pencils, so I have one of those. You want to have an eraser or two, in my case, 
These little click erasers are great. They don't take up any more space than a pencil. They are refillable most of the time. And they're easy to keep clean. You're going to possibly want just a regular ink pen. Sometimes you're going to be using this otherwise. Sometimes you just need to write down a note to yourself. I have actually two pencils in here. There's that regular 2B I was talking about. There's another regular pencil, I believe. Or you? Yep, that's another pen. Two ink pens, two pencils, two erasers. I do that intentionally because one always dies on me. And in my case, because I do a lot of ink work, and maybe while I'm sitting around being bored with nothing to do, I want to do that, that sort of thing, I have some of my ink pens. My primary thing is drawing, if you cannot tell. <laughs> but I have a 1, a 5, um, a 3, and a double O5. If you're going to have the pencil, of course, have a sharpener of some sort. Mine has both large and small size holes. This is cheap. It doesn't really cost you more than a dollar or two. Easy to get. The erasers, you get a couple per package for maybe three dollars. Ink pens, depends on what kind you get. Pencils, again, depends on what kind you get. And we all know that these aren't cheap. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever you pay for your regular items there, just, you know, have your spare, a couple of spares here and there in your bag, ready to go wherever you're at. You don't have to go to this length if you are just carrying the sketchbook for ideas alone and you're not normally a drawing person. A pencil, a sketchbook. The sketchbook could be this big if you like. It can be the stub of a pencil. The ink pen I would get, I would recommend to carry for anyone anyway. Now, because I do use this as my entertainment when I'm out and about, I don't play games on my phone. It takes up too much space. I need my card reader to work. <laughs> That's more important. So, because I do draw, I also carry around an extra ruler which in previous jobs I've had, I've, I've had a use for this as well. You don't have to have a big old freaking ruler like this. You can carry one of those little bitty fellas if you just need a straight edge, or you can use the edge of your sketchbook if it isn't that dire that it be exact. That's perfectly fine. Some other things that I will carry, maybe I should leave that out here. Some other things I will carry because specifically me, you don't have to have all of this. My carry items. I carry a card reader with me. I need to be able to take credit card just in case. I do take commissions on the fly. I have two card readers. I keep one with my usual sales kit that I would go to a craft show or convention with. And I also have one that I use in my purse, right here. I use Square, not, not sponsored, but when you get their app, if you're new, they'll still do this for free, the basic reader. At least they did when I got mine. I have two because I had gone and purchased one at the store for 10 bucks and when you put in the app and give them the code they reimburse you for the one you purchased so really it's a no cost item it's really inexpensive and easy to set up and you don't have to be a business to have a square reader you could just be any individual maybe you need to exchange some cash with somebody just remember there's a fee which is reasonable they need to you know pay their employees too and pay for these materials that they're sending out to that one. But in any case, have that. Um, I always have a schedule. Write down people's addresses in here. There's a little section for that and also keep track of what you need to remember. Yes, a lot of people have that on their phone now. I forget about the phone. <laughs> it, it's kind of a loss to me. But that also brings us to another thing. 
as an artist, a part of your EDC is that phone. Your phone is very, very, very important, and here's why. One, if you're savvy enough to do it, unlike me, scheduling. Another is that camera. If you are working on something in your sketchbook and you get it really good and you don't want to lose it, snap a picture of it. If anything ever happens to that, you've got it here, you can upload it to wherever you do, and you still have that bit of information. Also, if you're working conventions and doing commissions on the spot, then what you're going to want to do is take a picture of that commission that you have just finished before you hand it off. Now you have record of what you've done before. You also can use this, say you've got someone asking for a commission, but the only image that they have available to show you is a badge. You can take a picture of that badge. You can take a picture of their badge with their badge number, so if something happens and you lose contact with this person, you can go back to the convention and go, hey, I have this item, I need to contact this person. A lot of conventions are pretty understanding about that. They may or may not, but it's an option. You can also do this for the customer. If they, in case you're worried that they won't remember and come back for things, have them take a picture of your business card and what you're doing and they're ready to go. They're not going to lose your business card, which happens a lot. Yes, people want them, but then a lot of people lose them too. <laughs> or you end up with umpteen million business cards at that convention and you don't remember who's who. Because, yeah, you're looking at something really cool here, but it isn't really reflected on the card because they put something else on there that they do also. It happens. My cards very much represent the steampunk side of what I do, but if you're at a furry convention or something else, you're not going to make that connection to what I'm doing. So that very useful item. Also for referencing, if you need to go and look at a page or something, if you need to see, you're drawing a tiger, you want it to look more realistic, bring up a picture of a tiger. Also, this is what your card reader works off. You need this. Make sure your phone is fully charged and functional. I have a charging cord in here. You may also, this is another one I do. Yes, I'm going into every pocket of this thing. I carry a knife and we're all familiar with this knife. It's the same one that I use when I'm opening packages in the uh, blind box. I have very much used this a lot. I always, 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 always have at least a knife, maybe some scissors, or, and I quit carrying this, but sometimes it's a good idea to have like a uh, craft knife, a small one. Um, one, opening things, cutting things. Maybe you're on a whim, you have to have a piece of string to tie up something. Or, uh, you know, your rubber band gets stuck. or I don't know. Have something. You know, there's some places that get a little nervous about having certain items. Um, I know you don't want to be carrying this when you're going into an airport or something like that. Or, in that case, you know, a little fold-up scissors sometimes. Ask them. Ask them first. Or just wait until you get somewhere and get some cheapy from a gas station for what you need for that time. It's okay. But, you know, if, if you're able to carry it, do. <laughs> Where we live, it's normal. Nobody has a problem. Going further. Right now, in everybody's EDC, hand sanitizer. But anyway, <laughs> this is where I keep my charging cord and some headphones, by the way. I have a little pair of earbuds. They're not the greatest, but they're enough that if I need to hear what's on my phone, or I can just plug in and listen in on that, no problem. This is the secondary EDC for me, and it's not necessarily an art EDC, it's the general one. 
I have more than one because I'm stupidly over prepared. This one includes the flashlight. On the inside, these happy little fellas are the screwdriver bits that go to this. I have every imaginable thing in there including hex heads. Screwdriver is a wonderful thing to have, particularly if you wear glasses. Because how many times have you had a screw go and you have to replace it? I often have a replacement screw kit in here as well, which has probably been used up, I think, not too long ago in my previous glasses, which I need to replace. Um, toothpicks. There are so much more uses for those than just picking your teeth. You get something wedged down in something, yeah, you figure it out. I carry, this is where I just store my sharpening stone because it's seen, well, my previous job I was sharpening up tiny pairs of thread scissors. I'm sharpening up tweezers, my knife, the heads of these if they start getting a burr on them. It's cheap. Um, I probably should put it in something just a little bit better than a worn out plastic bag, but there it is. Matches by an artist, by the way, Mid Midwest Mermaid, if you're in Columbus. Um, also not sponsored anything, but I figured I'd give a shout out because I love her work. Um, there's some really, really beautiful things. You'll find her at 400 West in Franklinton. And also at several craft shows. I run across her a lot. Um, eyeglass cleaners. Emery board. Has so much more use than just your nails. Two different types of tweezers. I've got a flat head and a pointy head here. This was also due to the job I was just working. I have those. And I have these because I, if I'm going to be doing a lot of work with fine stuff, I can't keep gripping. So these ones with the little head on them, little finger loops, are great. They're flat tipped. But any pair of tweezers is a good idea. I don't know where this came from. Covington, Indiana, Beef House. Oh, it's more toothpicks. What a shock. Where did I even get that? <laughs> okay then. Um, I carry a cough drop. Just occasionally you might need it. Oh, here it is. There's my eyeglass tool. And it has even tinier heads on it than these. Little flat head and a little Phillips. One on each end. It's on a key ring, but I, it's so little and it twists apart, I won't put it on the outside. Full set of screwdrivers there, folks. Nail clippers. Also, not just for nails. Maybe you need to clip a thread. Something right there. I also have chapstick in there. which Everybody carries a chapstick almost. So. But that's kind of an idea of what I'm carrying in my regular carry. I have more ink pens in here. I've got a calculator in here. I've got so much extra, extra stuff. Because... I'm like the mom purse lady. Uh, everybody knows what a mom purse is. If you've had kids about or have been a kid, the, the purse that mom has that has everything in it, here it is. This is me. <laughs> but that is my EDC. There are some other ideas for things that you can carry, uh, just depending on what you need. You know, I have some basic things. I've got a comb in here and all the necessities and what have you. Um, if you can get stuff... Yes, I am reaching for a notepad. Sorry. If you can get some stuff in there, it's a great thing. But like I said, um, so you do do the Altoids 10. You can decorate that thing. Have fun with it. Make it a showcase for what you do. You scrub it down, paint it, what have you. Um, give, you can put mini markers in there, little scissors, a chamois cloth. Sometimes you need that to wipe things down. Band-aids, because some of us are dangerous to ourselves. You should carry band-aids. And also alcohol pads and wet wipes just in case. Um, so you do a lot of digital. Carry around a micro SD and an adapter for a regular SD. 
then that way you can work with whatever's at hand. Um, elastic or Velcro bands, rubber bands. Sometimes, you, you know, if you go to a convention, you buy a poster or whatever. Need something to hold it together so it doesn't get torn up while you're still traveling about. And just, just any kind of interesting little thing. But primarily, the big ones you want to remember are that sketchbook, the pencil, and the eraser, and the sharpener. Those are the big deal if you're wanting for an artist to have an everyday carry. Have you got any other ideas? Uh, go ahead and share them in the comments. What, would, what do you carry with yourself on a daily basis as an artist? Um, are you like some of us that my age group, the Gen Xers, a lot of us are never seen without a sketchbook somewhere on our person um, to the point where I've actually made necklaces with little books on them. Um, are you a strictly digital artist? Maybe you've got a program that you put onto your phone just to be sure. Maybe it has become your everyday carry. But anyway, let me know. Make a comment. Share. Subscribe. I'm going to find out what's crawling around in my attic. It's still thumping up there. What's going on? Anyway, <laughs> thought I had that handled this past year. So anyway, what do you carry? And let us know. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell if you would like to get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos, which are now every Friday. And also visit me on Patreon and Etsy. Patreon is Steamfox Latte dash Kitsune Hariri. Facebook is Steam Fox Latte, and Etsy is also Steam Fox Latte. And everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye bye!